Welcome back to the show, everybody. We got a great one for you today. You know how I know that? Because we're getting ready to talk about XRP price because XRP price is rocking, baby. That's what we're talking about. 114 for XRP. It's been working overnight while we've been sleeping. That's how I like money to do. I like money to work for me. I don't like to work for my money. I want my money to work for me. Let's go ahead and roll that beautiful intro and find out just how hard it's going to work. This is Digital Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Subscribe for new content notifications. Now, here's Brad Kimes. Come on in. Welcome back to the show, everybody. You can follow me on Twitter at BackupBradleyAbove and everything that we're talking about here today. Give us a like and follow on Facebook and on TikTok now at Digital Perspectives on TikTok. Make sure you follow us. We're going to have some killer stuff. And I just started posting some TikToks yesterday. So make sure you get those and share them everywhere at Digital Perspectives. $1.951 trillion market cap for crypto right now. More money has come back into the space. We were at like 923, 930 something yesterday. So we've seen some money return back to the space and it's showing up. And apparently some of it's going back into XRP. Take a look at it. 114.72 is where the price is and just so you see the gains here right now 9 10 10.81 percent overnight 115 ladies and gentlemen it's on the move right now that's what we like to know yeah it's on the move right now and 45.74 percent on the seven day now that is some boss move right there over 10 percent of that in the last 24 hours and less than that actually so looking at the range now the bottom range for xrp price is one dollar yeah and for all those that left hundreds if not thousands of comments underneath my youtube videos over the last three and a half years that xrp will never be one dollar i don't want to gloat but you were wrong <laughs> Top of the range is at 118. We saw 118 overnight while I was sleeping. Yeah, that's amazing. Sitting now at 114. We know uh, the technical analysts. We're going to hear from a couple different technical analysts. And guess what? They're all pointing in the same direction. The moon, baby. We'll get into it in just a few minutes. Algorand is another coin that I hold. Full disclosure, you guys know I've said that if you've been with the channel for a while. ADA and many others. Um, XLM, VetCoin. Uh, let's see what else. I even hold some Decentraland, right? Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of what else. It's hard to remember it all, right? Um, Casino Coin. You know I'm a huge fan of Casino Coin. Shout out to Daniel and the crew over there. But this was interesting because this came from Alex J. And shout out to Alex J. right here, who found some documents that said Algorand 100% created, funded by the U.S. government. And I know that this project is going to be big because I saw Michael Arrington and Brad Garlinghouse right around the time of the Bitcoin Miami convention, where they were all hanging together at like a private get together. And you could see that he was endorsing it essentially on social media. So here we see National Science Foundation government agency, National Science Foundation agency, United States government. And then this one right here, if you go into it, shows the date, January 31st, I think it is, 2022, February 15th, 2016, 2018. And then Jin Chang, who is the person that was shown, and we'll see, there's Jin Chang right here, head of theory research and scientist at MIT and at NSF Career Award in 2016. And uh, the computer science at Stony Brook University received nearly $500,000 in the theory of computation and economics. The proposed research will make a profound contribution to the foundation of distributed systems and game theory. Go Alex J. Yeah. Good old fashioned research. Deep dive. That's what we're talking about. I love Algorand. And I love it. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the gains. I, th I don't know where the price is right now, but I'm not going to look it up. But I know that it was like 146 or some 164. It was over, well over a dollar, almost two, headed towards two at one point back when we hit 192 for XRP and the market was really moving. We'll have to keep an eye on that. I think I got in at around 70 cents or something like that. Somewhere around that area. Uh, Rosalind Layton says policy is needed for investor clarity. 
but to keep the SEC itself in check. And it's twofold. And I really agree with this. And I'm not going to go into this article. It's Forbes, what have you. But it states what we have been talking about here for a long time. Right. And Rosalind Layton, Ph.D., and we know international tech policy, right, University of Copenhagen. But, you know, she's acknowledging here what I believe needs to happen, which is hashtag ripple test. Right. Just like the Howie test. But we need to have the ripple test so we can further define this new asset class and get the SEC back in its own lane. And I think some of that has to start with the legislation from D.C. and Capitol Hill. I know that these are international, world, global assets and global market, but the U.S. needs to clarify what these things are. In the great words of the great cryptopolis, the macro trader, used to do a Friday show with me. Shout out to you, my friend. You cannot legislate what you haven't defined. And as you can see, even in the dealer broker situation, they can't even get that definition right, but they will. Looking right here, this is a post from Jeremy Hogan here. He says, I know that Gary Gensler cannot and will not answer this. And the original post here was over 4,000 people like below. And let me just pull this up very quickly here. Uh, this was really based off of this. They know uh, you understand Ethereum very well. We also understand you recently said the U.S. securities laws are very clear. Therefore, millions of Americans who own Ether would like to know the answer to a simple question. Is Ether a security? Yes or no? Well, as you know, I played a clip here yesterday, and I don't think I still have it up. I'm looking to see if I do, but I don't. But nevertheless, we played a clip here yesterday from Gary Gensler's time at MIT when he was teaching there, and he clearly said that at that time, he understood against the Howey test that to him, it passed. And by passing, he further clarified in that video that that meant Ethereum was, in fact, to him, a security. Why no action? That's the real question. Why no action, Gary Gensler? Why the inconsistency? And that's what we're talking about here. And he goes on to say here, the points we're highlighting is twofold. There is no clarity from the SEC, basically, right? It took him a couple of hours of research to figure out the answer is probably Ether's security, depending on about five different variables. So cannot Lack of clarity allows for selective enforcement. The SEC has no incentive to have clarity because it would force them to enforce per clear criteria. First, it is not set up to enforce all violations. And second, arbitrariness is power and power is money. So will not. And that's really speaking to, you know, the, the, the power grab of government agencies. And that's exactly what they're doing here. Shout out to Jeremy Hogan for laying that down. This is BitBoy right here, and he's at it again with an XRP update. And I want you to listen to what he's saying here, okay? Uh, he says he's got an inside source here about the lawsuit. Listen very carefully. Now, I, I want to tell you what I've been told, okay? I, I want to tell you guys this. And I think I may have mentioned this. So here's what's going on with XRP. We're being told that this motion to seal is from the XRP side, from the Ripple Lab side. False. That's not true. SEC is actually, the SEC wants this sealed. And of course, so what we're being told is, is, is that XRP wants this sealed. That is not true. The SEC is handing this down to be sealed. They're making it look like it's from the Ripple side. Now... If that's true, there is a lot of credence to the fact that there could be a settlement in play on the backside. Keep listening. Well, it makes perfect sense. They didn't even want William Hinman to do a deposition. And that's a fantastic point. And because of that point is why I'm playing this video. BitBoy is great. I like BitBoy a lot. He is the biggest YouTuber in the crypto land. And hats off to him. But he doesn't know more about XRP and Ripple than we do. So we have to try to bounce these, balance these things that he's getting from these unknown places against the many, many years of what we understand about this whole entire journey with Ripple and XRP. And that has a lot of weight. The SEC, in fact, fought very hard to not have William Henman 
sit for a deposition. Let's keep listening. They didn't even want his previous comments known public. So of course they don't want what he's saying now to be made public. Mm -hmm. So Ripple's letter motion to seal exhibits filled the crypto community with settlement speculations between the SEC and Ripple. And once again, do you guys want another prediction that's going to come true? I said it the other day. We are going to see this settle by mid-September. Mm. Now I want you to look at the current price action that we're looking at, right? We were at 115. We just saw 115. We're at 115 again right now, right? So think of that for a moment, what he's saying. And we get a settlement in September. What do you think is going to happen to price? The price is moving in the face of an SEC lawsuit. Now, what do you think is going to happen when this thing resolves? Mid-September. About a month away, we are going to see this get settled. Could be much quicker than that. It could be much quicker than that. But by the middle of September, Ripple has offered to seal parts of William Hinman's deposition. This is the only channel you're getting this information on, by the way. This is the only channel that's got this information. Let's not get too crazy and carried away there. We love BitBoy, but... Like <laughs> They're offering to seal. Why would they be offering... Because they've been prompted from the other side. The SEC can't possibly say they want it sealed. Why would they want it sealed? Because they know for sure they're going to lose a lawsuit. And because they know the reverberating effects that this is going to have on other crypto projects the SEC is going to go after. I certainly believe that Ripple will come out of this lawsuit in much better way than it went in. But I also want to encourage people to think that if you think Ripple's going to come out of this unscathed and the SEC loses this clean slate and they don't get anything, no fines, no money, what do you think the SEC brought this case on for? They've done this a bunch. This isn't their first rodeo, right? So at the end of the day, I don't know about a clean slate win. I think there will be some fines. And for that, if the SEC does get fines against Ripple for, let's just say, uh, you know, options contracts for over-the-counter deals, you know, which is not the end of the world, the SEC will hang its hat on the fact that we got fines, we got money, we won. That's how they'll say it, right? So no matter what, I don't think, I think that summary judgment or a settlement will come in the form of, you know, that, you know, what is a compromise? It's two or more parties agreeing on things that they won't get that they wanted, right? So we'll keep listening. So if it all becomes public, then a lot of these projects will probably be protected in the future. So, uh, you know, think about this. S settlement speculation. Why is there settlement speculation here? And first of all, it, it, I want to add to this point here about the rest of the companies that may be in question, the rest of the projects and tokens that out here that could be in question if the stuff isn't sealed. I think that's where we see legislation come in, define this space at least enough to open up the log jam that we currently have to allow the big money to come in and get behind the innovation and give us six months, 12 months, 18 months to figure out which innovations, which technologies actually prove out because that's the way the internet worked, the internet age. And that worked great for us, right? There's a reason that Apple, Google, Amazon, YouTube, all these things came from where, where'd they come from? They came from right here, right? Innovation in the USA. I do not believe as much as it looks that way and has felt that way for the last couple of years that the U S is behind. They're not going to let it happen. They're going to do some very, very, broad simple things to clarify what these things are and how to get this market opened up again develop public private relationships for stable coins and next thing you know they're in control of the on and off ramps to this digital world and this space will go nuts and don't forget about hester purse's three-year safe harbor rule that could be laid in after legislation to really make everyone comfortable enough to understand you are free to move forward until you're able to define what your project is. SEC has prompted Ripple to make this, uh, to, to, to say they want this sealed, probably as part of a behind the scenes attachment to the settlement deal. 
that would be fantastic. And shout out to BitBoy, man. Not trying to be combative to him, but we've been in this space a long time. So we have to balance a little bit of what we're getting from him and others against the many, many years of research that we have all been doing. And that is why you do your own research, your own due diligence. Because when you hear these things, you can weigh it against the many, many years of what you have understood for yourself. All right, looking right here, James Rule XRP says, boom, crypto banks. Look at all these banks. This is a post that was shared by Michael Val Five Links originally, Hall of Famer here. Over half of the 100 largest banks in the world by assets under management reportedly have exposure to cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. This is just some of them. And you know that some of these on this list, like BNY Mellon, Standard Chartered, I mean, you know, BNB Paribas, there's many others. We can sit here and go down the list all day long. MUFG, they're, they're working with Ripple. We know this. And you can come over here, companies invested in, Ripple, you can see this, R3, right? You just see all these companies, HQLAX, right? R3 again, R3, you know. R3 formally partnered with Ripple. They sued each other. That's how we found out that option contracts existed for XRP because of that lawsuit. Don't believe me? Google it, right? Ledger Insights article will tell you that. This is Michael Arrington telling you why we're being sued over anyone else in a very indirect way. But it's very, very real. We actually do what we say we can do. That's the thing about XRP. It's not like Bitcoin. Oh, it's a currency and then retreats to a store of value because it didn't work. Sorry, don't mean to offend anybody. If you're triggered, head to the safe room. You can scream for an hour. But the real deal is, is that, you know, it does what it says it can do. And he's going to explain that to you right here. Point maximalists, there's every, but everybody agrees, like, you know, XRP sucks, and, and I, I, I don't really get it, right? I mean, it's, they're a legitimate company, they don't pretend to be something they're not, and they're really good at one thing, moving money fast and cheap. And um, it's fantastic, it fills a big need, and for a hedge fund like us to be able to denominate in Ripple and XRP, I just did the same thing, uh, is, is really, really, really good. We did our first close. Uh, we moved north of four of $50 million into the company in Ripple, in XRP, in like two seconds, and it cost 30 cents. Now, that is amazing. The only, there's no way to do that with fiat or Bitcoin. There's just... And the point is here is that, you know, you're, you're really talking about the idea that you can move money cheaply, right? And you can do that for the world. And that's the example. And the reason Bitcoin maxis get so upset about us for many, many years now is because they're anti-bank, anti-government, and anti-establishment. But guess what? They're all cheering nowadays because they see huge investment funds and banks taking a position and talking about taking a position in Bitcoin. And they're like, whoa, yeah, to the moon, all that. Well, what happened to anti-bank, anti-establishment, anti-government Bitcoin maxis? I got a little secret for you. See, once these big entities, banks, hedge funds, put their big institutional money into this thing, they have deflowered your queen. Your anti-government, anti-establishment movement has just been kaput. Why? Because now that their big money is in Bitcoin, if they change their mind and take their money out of Bitcoin, you and your Bitcoin maxi friends will be shucking marbles around back and forth on your phone. Because that's about what it'll be worth. And at some point, you may see Bitcoin get flipped in market cap. And what happens then? Because it's obvious that the tech doesn't work for a payment system. Certainly not efficiently, not time nor cost. So for me, this isn't even maxi talk from my side. This is, you need to answer these things for yourself if you're holding Bitcoin. Is this the digital age of the tulip craze? I'll let you figure it out. Just in case you guys are lost on where XRP is going, let's get back to that part. Crypto Maniac 101 has been a TA person out here for a long time now, and he feels very bullish about 12 to $18 is his main target. Anything over that this year is a bonus. This year? Damn. 
Now, you factor in if BitBoy does have the right information about a settlement before the end of this year, then I think that's an easy, easy, easy jump to 12 to 18 bucks, right? Somewhere between 10 and 20 bucks. And then we see this from Crypto Wizard is another killer, killer technical analysis team. Check them out. XRP closed very strong today and it broke 104. And obviously now we are well above at 115. And it says Bitcoin has a larger, unless Bitcoin has a large dump for some fundamental reason. His eyes will be focused on $1.40 as the next major resistance target. How about that? Who'd be upset about that? Not this guy. And then this is Coins Kid. Shout out to Coins Kid. Give all of these guys a follow. They work very hard to get this information out to us. And I want to bring you in right about here and listen for about two minutes here to what he's going to talk about again if you don't catch it he does say if we roll over to the downside it could go all the way back to 85 cents in a huge pullback if it wants to but as of right now all signals are pointing to a bullish upside just like everyone else is saying let's listen Four dollars fifty-four, which is pretty much tying with all our all four dollars fifty-four, an immediate target for going up on the upside. Just want to make sure you see that. Let's keep listening. Our technical analysis at the moment, okay, but because we see it like that, it doesn't mean it's going to happen. You know, not one hundred percent, but it is adhering to some structural support, and this is what I say to you about structural support in these in these charts, okay? It's structurally sound for continuation and until it's not. You're looking at continuation, so yeah, th this green line will keep it in there. I do anticipate at that point, you know, if we do go through a level like that, that could that could actually offer a fantastic short opportunity there for XRP. For any of you that are watching the videos, you could be looking at a whopping 40, 49 percent short up down to the to the 20 ma very similar scenario like this what we're going through but again equally you know if we come up here because the, the the market's extremely bullish at the minute if you was to come up here and break that then obviously you've got a further upside target uh, right there wherever it is to a technical target you'd be looking at 118 percent trade so yeah that's xrp it's doing really really well that's a zoomed out perspective okay so these trend lines look support resistance back tested hill support the 050 retracement absolute boss xrp looks amazing really really bullish really really bullish but again it, it is going to run into resistance and this is normal okay it is normal so people shit themselves but hopefully you know i can deliver the the, the message of support to you and in, in this space this is what i try to do so yeah and while he's getting ready to pull this back so you can see the price range and everything to go along with it if you look right here what he's talking about is that you got this huge huge trend line here which it may go up and touch like it did previously and then pull back and then come back up as it is now and go up and hit and it may pull back it may not get through it or maybe it does have the power to push through it and it breaks right through with some strong buying power right it could go either way but if it doesn't you could see it roll all the way back or it could just roll back some like here you know what i mean it roll back and touch this and it's coming off of that line as hard as it can go so we'll see if it's got the gas to get us up and through the next place let's keep listening you having a quick look at the four hourly time frame then for xrp so with XRP, I did say yesterday, if you break 109, you're looking at a big move up and you've got that big move right now. So, yeah. It's and congrats to him. That's exactly what we have right now. Broken out, isn't it? You come up to the 1414 and you've hit your head. The technical target is around about $1.22, so you're not quite there yet. So you probably... And now he said this 1414, right? And he said this 118. Now, where are we at right now? And we're at 115 right now. So we could be at that place where we hit our head and we end up pulling back like he's showing you right there. Do we get through that point and head up to 122 is the question and beyond. Probably form a little bit of a horizontal here before you get that little leg of continuation here of another 4.56% for XRP. But what you're doing right now, you're broken up above the golden ratio to 0.618, which is confluence to the fact that you're forming that big reversal wave coming back up to the to the local high at 196, basically coming back up to where you came from. Break that, you're looking at continuation and impulsive wave up to $4.55. But like that is amazing. If we break those areas, we're talking about heading to $4.55. And again, I just remind you, and this is all in the face of an SEC lawsuit. This is happening. Where is the momentum coming from? Is it the corridors opening up around the world like we've seen in the APAC region? Is it institutions 
buying without us realizing it, understanding that this case will end, whether it's September or early next year. What is really moving the price at this time? Pretty interesting question, because I do not have the answer. But I tell you, I think all those things could certainly be probable answers. There's no question about it. That's going to do it for me. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, check out Link to Private Investing Made Simple. They are amazing and they have great products. Upholds back on the board and so is Kraken. This stuff does not last long. Link to doesn't last long. I mean, Ripple goes in, in minutes, if not seconds. If you're not accredited, find out what you need to do to be accredited. Don't wait till you are. Find out what it is if you're not so you can work on making <laughs> making it happen faster. That's exactly what I'm doing. That's going to do it for me. Check out all the links in the description box and the comment section. And they are trusted, vetted products of things that I use each and every day. So you are cool to click on those links. And there's a lot of great specials and deals too. So make sure you check them out. I'll catch all of you on the next one.